Jethro was the father-in-law of Moses, the servant of God. And God wanted was to use Moses mightily to show Pharaoh his power. And Moses said to God, I cannot, I cannot speak. And then he tried to give God all of these excuses why he could not go back to Egypt and do what God wanted him to do. And God was very displeased with, with Moses. But Jethro was uh, at times very encouraging to Moses. And we must remember that God is no respecter of person. He will use whoever he please to accomplish his task. So he used Jethro for the time so appointed to bring comfort to Moses. More than once he would do this. But Moses finally relented and he went down to Egypt and he did what God commanded him to do and he got the victory just like God said he would. God is not a man that he should lie, the son of man that he should repent. If he said it, he will do it. If he has spoken it, he will surely bring it to pass. So if God said something, it's because it's already done. It cannot be altered, cannot be changed. The plan of God is settled in heaven and he's watching over what he has decreed to make sure it come to pass. So Moses got the victory over Pharaoh and his army in the many signs and wonders that God had performed in Egypt through his servant Moses. Moses came back into Midian and he met his father-in-law Jetcher, and he recited the things that God had done for the children of Israel, how he had with a strong and mighty arm brought them out of Egypt. Jetcher thought about all that Moses had said, and these are the words he uttered in Exodus 18 verse 11. Now I know that the Lord is greater than all gods. For in the things wherein they dealt proudly, he was above them. For in the things wherein they dealt proudly, Yahweh was above them. Psalm 135, 5 through 6. For I know that the Lord is great and that our Lord is above all gods. Sometimes we need to remember that in the darkened hours of our trials and when the tempest rage and when everything seems to be falling apart, it's very easy for us to forget that our God is above all gods. Whatsoever the Lord pleased, that did he in heaven and in the earth, in the seas and all deep places, meaning that God is sovereign of all creation. In the all the realms of creation, wherever in the heavens, in the earth, in the depths of the sea, God is sovereign over all. Not just creation, but over all powers. Colossians 2, 8 through 10. Beware lest any man spoil you through philosophy and vain deceit after the tradition of men, after the rudiments of the world and not after Christ. For in him, who oh Jesus, for in him dwelleth all the fullness of the Godhead bodily. And ye are complete in him, which is the head of all principality and power. So Yeshua, we are told, Jesus Christ, in him, this Yahweh that we read about in the Old Testament, that is God over all gods, 
we are told that in Yeshua Jesus Christ dwelleth the fullness of the Godhead bodily. Jesus said to those who were questioning and opposing his ministry, he said, I and the Father are one. And they take up stone to stone him. You see, the power that Yahweh had in the Old Testament is the same power that Jesus has in the New. That's why Jesus said, Whatsoever my Father do it, that I do also. He raised the dead, I raised the dead. He gave sight to the blind, I do the same. Whatsoever my Father do it, so do I. Then he went on and he said, that all may honor the Son in the very same way that we honor the Father. Think about the claim of Jesus. That all men may honor him, the Son, in the exact same way that we honor the Father. Why? Because we are told in 1 John that whosoever acknowledges the Son have the Father also. Whosoever do not acknowledge the Son does not have the Father. There's no competition in the Godhead. That's why the Father places the name of his Son above his own name. That at the name of Jesus, every knee will bow and every tongue will confess that Jesus Christ is Lord. To the glory of God the Father. No competition. Three that bear witness in heaven. And the three are in agreement. The three are one. Jesus, the head of all principalities and power. We serve an awesome God. No therefore this day. Consider it in thine heart. That the Lord, he is God in heaven above and in the earth beneath. Do you know this God? 